you guys obviously uh, <coughs> bring up these tweets from uh, Vice President Harris, from President Biden on the rhetoric uh, from Democrats. Uh, would you say that President Trump should tone down his rhetoric as well? He said, you know, shortly after the shooting, that you know these are the people who want to destroy the country, call uh, Biden and Harris the enemy from within and, and the real threat in the world of Fox News. Yeah, I would I would probably say that there's problems on both sides, but you always have that. You always have that in a campaign. Uh, but I think sometimes they get more personal from the left, and they've gotten that way. And when you throw President Trump underneath the bus uh, from the DOJ, weapon, weaponizing the, the FBI, raiding his home, trying to impeach him twice, trying to bankrupt him, trying to do all the things they possibly can, and then at the end of the day it really gets personal, I think he's got a pretty good case of saying, hey, enough's enough. And uh, it's just, I think it would be understandable that both may need to hold it down a little bit, but we've got 48 days. Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and Tim Waltz, they have a full influx of people that are protecting them. We want the Republican nominee protected until the election is over with. We don't need a disaster between now and then. As I said earlier, copycats are going to pop up everywhere. And we don't need to even give them a chance to think of doing anything that would be disastrous for the country. Yeah. No, I think it's it's the volume of the comments as well. When when 90 percent of the legacy media is following exactly uh, what Kamala Harris is saying or what Joe Biden is saying and just repeating it, this is the theme of their of their whole of their whole election campaign is that Trump is a threat to democracy. Listen to their ads. A new ad this weekend with exactly those words. They don't have a record to run on. President Trump would much rather be talking about his record. He'd like to be talking about a secure border, a strong economy, low inflation, low, low unemployment. Uh, there, weren't any, there weren't wars going on across the, the world as well. So he's got a great record to run on, but Kamala doesn't have anything to run on. A disastrous economy, 12 million people cross the border e illegally. Uh, African-American unemployment is, is now surging again. They don't have anything to run on. So this is what they rely upon are these personal attacks on Donald Trump. Donald Trump would much rather be talking about his record than this stuff. But the Democrats practice projection. So what they, what they say that somebody else is doing is actually what they're doing. And I think that's what President Trump's trying to communicate, that when, you, when they're saying that he's a threat to democracy, wait a second, isn't an open border a threat to democracy? Uh, isn't destroying our economy and inflation and, and destroying American energy? Aren't those all threats to our democracy as well? So I think he's responding to that. We don't, we're not electing him because he's a, a, a silly choir boy. He's going to be out there fighting for Americans. No, no, we don't need more funding. We got 7,000 Secret Service officers out right out there right now. There's 100 Secret Service offices across the country. 7,000 employees, uh, um, hundreds of these offices out there. They've got plenty of personnel. They've got plenty of money. They need to prioritize where to be placing these Secret Service agents. They've got the people to do it. Yeah, and, I, and I've talked to Secret Service agents, and they they will tell you. All we're doing is we're chasing fraudulent money, counterfeit money, instead of doing their job and protection in a crucial time in our democracy. They should be doing their job. And if we got all these IRS agents that we've hired in the last few years, give them something to do other than go after the American citizen. But it is uh, – uh, this comes from the Secret Service. We need to use more people in the Secret Service in terms of securing and protecting the candidates in our election. I've played that course with President Trump many times, played it by myself, going out and played. I know exactly where he was at and where the gunman was at. you got to think, five, the hedges are five feet wide, three to five feet wide in most places, 12 to 15 feet tall. Uh, every time I've played, the Secret Service has been on top of everything, going through the bushes, going through the hedges. It's just almost impossible to protect 100 percent a guy like Donald Trump who's going to go outside, who's going to do rallies, who's going to play golf, who's going to raise money, he's going to shake hands. Uh, I, 
I have no problem with the Secret Service, and even President Trump said that, and the local police and the state police. There has to be more. More is better. More people that are not tired, that will go from bounce around from rally to rally, because they can't keep up with this president. They can't keep up with him. He's an energizer bunny. And that's what we want in this country, but we also want one that's going to be protected. Thank you all. Wait a second. Thanks. Thanks.